Welcome back to Elsinore. We are at the very beginning of a new loop. So some of the things that I want to focus on for this one that I'm going to try to go for is to, uh, to progress the journey at sea thing. Apparently I need to speak to the king about it. Maybe I can uncover the truth of the matter about the king's plot to uh, have Hamlet killed once they reach England. Don't think that's going to go very well. I think they're just going to kill me for knowing about something that I shouldn't know. But I'll try speaking to the king about that. The barkeep and me. To progress this quest, it looks like we need to inform the royal guard about Othello's problems and they might be able to protect him. So I'll do that. I'll try to stop our father from burning the notes somehow. And try to be friends. Uh, try to be friends with Brit. Step one, let's do the most volatile one, the one that I think might get me killed. Let's speak with the king. They're in their chambers. Hmm. Well, I guess let's speak with the royal guard then, probably Bernardo, to talk about Othello. Barkeep in trouble. Captain. The barkeep in town has been beset by thugs. Can't you do anything? My apologies. Uh, we don't ordinarily have jurisdiction over the town. I know Othello. He ought to ask his local guards for protection. <sighs> He's tried. None of them will stand by him. Hmm. And how did you hear about this man's case exactly? How do you know Othello? I... Uh... He... well... Ophelia. You've been rummaging around in town alone? With that barkeep? Well, now I'm obligated to send Marcellus down for your own safety. If you're making friends with criminals... My lady, be aware you are making things very difficult for all of us. Please. Be safe, please. I will. You have my word. I just want to make sure he's all right. Learn about a future event in which Othello is confronted about settling his ledger. When does that happen? Oh, very soon. Yep, between Bernardo and Othello. The king is going to hold court about recent events pretty soon, too, so that'll be a good opportunity to talk with him. Yeah, I suppose... I suppose for now, let's just go wait in the Great Hall. King should show up there sometime soon. Hello. So... My lord. I know for certain Prince Hamlet will survive his trip to England. I know also that this is opposite of your desire. Yeah, we're gonna end up dead. <laughs> what? Why on earth would I desire my nephew's death? And because I suspect he's been rather a thorn in your side as of late. Uh... That's neither here nor there. My nephew is very much alive and well. And though things have been difficult as of late, I have hoped to rectify the situation. Hmm. I see, he hasn't hatched his plan yet. Yeah, I was worried about that. This would need to wait a bit. Regardless, my lord, if the situation changes, may we discuss it further? I suppose. Learn about a future event in which Hamlet departs for England. I am surprised how chill Claudius was about that. Um, when is the event? I mean, it's on Saturday? Yeah, it's on Saturday. Didn't it happen on Sunday in the other timeline? I don't know. It seems to move around a bit. I don't think it's at one particular set time. What does it say in the journal now? I spoke to the king about the aforementioned plot against Hamlet's life. He seemed surprised and disturbed, but now believes me to be an ally of sorts. If I can only be there at the moment Hamlet steps aboard that ship... I might be able to find a way onto it myself. Interesting. I didn't... I'm kind of surprised Claudius would think me an ally of sorts. That's not how I read that conversation, but... That gives me a very interesting in. If I'm one of Claudius' trusted people. I don't know, maybe... Maybe at this point they think... Probably be pretty reasonable to think that Ophelia hates Hamlet. Because Hamlet's been a... Total bastard to her. What 
now. Um, settling his ledger. Let's go to that. Oh. Wait. Shit, I have to... Oh, I have to deal with this again to get out of town, don't I? Hmm. You know about the, the gambling ring? Uh, I'll let you through. Okay, okay. So once we figure out about the gambling ring, then we just kind of name drop it here and they're like, okay, go through. So we don't have to do the whole thing again. What's going on down here? Oh, Laertes. Right, I didn't tell them anything. Are they not gone yet? I thought they would have disappeared by now. Well, they should leave soon. There's nothing in particular making them stay. If I don't tell them anything. Before the Lord come the barking hounds, I suppose. Can that master not come to see me himself? I've told him I'd pay him. And when I have the coin, I intend to keep my word. The Danish king has squeezed every coin from my pockets in tax to fuel his lavish wedding. He's a rich man, and I a poor one. That's the way of the world. I have nothing to give you yet. Please. Can we not settle this reasonably? Today we're giving you an early warning. Tomorrow we'll be less kind. Hello. What is this? What's going on here? Guard captain. Uh, nothing, sir. We was just coming around for a drink. Uh. That's not what I've heard from the good lady Ophelia here. Leave and never return. Or I'll have my men rout out all of you and clean the back alleyways until they sparkle. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me. Thank Lady Ophelia. Now, was I sufficiently intimidating? <laughs> yes. I think so. With any luck, they won't return. My lady. I owe you a great debt, my lady. You are as noble-hearted as you are beautiful. While I wish I could pay you, all I have to offer are my stories. I would love to spin you a tale in private, have you the time to listen. This evening at midnight, I close the bar. Perhaps you could meet me then. Heck yeah. At midnight. Yep, and there it is. And where is it? Just right, right at the bar. Okay, what do I want to... Oh. I guess I clicked back here. What do I want to do now? If I want to have any hope of stopping Polonius from burning the notes, then I should... Question mark. One thing I haven't utilized is telling Quince what I want to appear in the play that they're going to give today. What can I tell them? Changing the play. There's a spy in Elsnore Castle. Do I want everybody to think that time is repeating itself? Hamlet will kill my father. Uh, what's wrong with Hamlet? The affair? Oof. Hmm. If I do the affair thing, then... If I do the affair thing, then doesn't Gertrude end up dead? I forgot exactly what happened there, but I'm pretty sure Gertrude ends up dead. I guess that's okay. I mean, why, why not? I don't think that would preclude, or, um, preclude? Is that the right word? I don't think that would ex exclude. That's the right word. I don't think that would exclude me from doing any of the things that I want to do do as far as I can think of. Let's have a play about the affair. That should be great. Maybe it'll distract Polonius. I've heard that the queen had an affair with King Claudius before her husband's death. Intriguing. Well, they say the best drama is born of scandal, my dear. Or at least I do. I say that. Perhaps I can use this information in our upcoming performance. So when is that happening? Oh, it's not. It doesn't happen today? Oh, it's tomorrow. Okay, that isn't going to do shit for stopping Polonius burning things. 
Hamlet departs for England. Unlikely. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty unlikely. How do I stop my goddamn father from burning their goddamn notes? Where is my father? Where are they? Oh, there you are. What could I possibly say? I know I've directly mentioned the burning notes and that isn't good. I think that makes them burn them right away. I could do the Bernardo has summoned you thing. I think I tried that before and it didn't work, but maybe if you tell them that Bernardo has summoned you earlier, it might work. I don't know. It can't hurt, really. Father. Would Whoa. like to meet you. Woohoo! <laughs> Um, when are you, are you going right now? Oh, yeah. Mmm. I bet what I need to... If they go right away, then... I don't think they always go right away, though. I think I've done it in the past, and they didn't go right away. But they went right away this time, which gives me the idea of maybe I should wait until they're, like, really, really about to burn the notes, like, just about to, and then distract them in the exact moment with... Going to talk with Bernardo. Of course, then I'd have to hope that they don't burn them on future days, I guess. They're going to die pretty soon, though, if I don't do anything to stop them from dying. So that would solve that, kind of. Mm, I probably can't tell them that Bernardo wants to question you multiple times. So I might have to restart the timeline. Um, Let's see. Whoa, Polonius, what did you just do? I don't see it. I think it's out of the list of things I can do. Yes. Okay, uh, I'm going to reset the loop then. All right, done everything that I did before. Reset the loop. Didn't tell Polonius that Bernardo wanted to see them. And did the whole barkeep thing, so that's all good. Oh, I didn't tell Quince about what I want them to do for the play. I don't know if I want them to do that for the play anymore, to be honest. Maybe? I don't know. The play is until tomorrow, so there's no reason I need to do it today anyway. Let's try to get on Brit's good side. So, um, I think one of the things that I missed before when I was trying to be their friend on the second round through, second loop through, is I didn't get the the letters, I think, from the well? I think I didn't. So I can bring that to Brit. And then there's the whole artist's kit thing. Oh, as soon Brit. as I come into town, it has me give the letters to Brit. Just gather all the stuff for Horatio to make the artist's ah. kit, so we can do that. Oh, and then do we also give them to... You. Lady Brit, yes. Going to town as soon as I can. I need to drink. Okay, so at this point, I think I can follow them, and they'll go to town, and then I can finally do that thing. Remember the first time I tried to follow them, the issue I had is that the guards wouldn't let me leave, so I had to do the whole figuring out their gambling ring thing. Don't you dare follow me there, either. Of course I won't. I'm gonna follow you. I just, uh, can I just follow you? Where are you going? You going? Actually, where are you going? Into the Great Hall. What's going on in there right now? Royal family sits down to dine. Ah, oh, so that happens on the first day. The play is on the second day, huh? I don't remember exactly when Polonius burns the notes, so I need to keep a very close eye on them. Let's set to follow. Hmm. I'm not going to listen to the events. Ah, you go to the graveyard now. Okay. 
Lady Brit. I follow you. You go? You go now? Yes, now we're going, I think. Did I miss an event? Hold on, they're just like leaving now? They went in there for like a second. Um. Um, I don't actually know what to say. <laughs> uh, Brit, I know you've been leaking information to Fort and Bra. What? The hell? Uh, I'm confused. What does my journal say for them? Oh, it says I completed it. She said she plans to hit the Castle Town Bar. If I can catch her there, perhaps after we'll finally be able to talk. I have to catch her there. At this point, it's not going to be... Talking to her right now is not going to be any different than talking to her any other time not outside of the bar. It's going to be... The normal thing. Hmm. I think I think Brit goes there multiple times because we caught her there towards the end of the last. Well, maybe it was two loops ago, but then they just just rebuffed us because we didn't do the things that made them like us. So they'll be back at some point. Hmm. Polonius is going to be remembering our mother for a while. So, let's head to Othello's place. Apologies, my lady. I forgot myself. Can I get you something to drink? No, I was merely listening. It's a sad song, isn't it? A song about hopelessness. I kind of skipped over it or didn't really look at it that much, but I think they were singing something right before we started this event. Yes, but so are many things in this age. You know, you remind me a little of the woman in the song. You have that air of sadness about you. Are you that one they call Lady Ophelia? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Othello. I've heard much about you. Oh, my apologies for not introducing myself. Think nothing of it. I suppose with all the time loops, it's very easy to think that you don't have to introduce yourself because you know them so well, but they don't remember you. You were singing alone. Do you not sing to music? I used to play the lute, but it's been a long time since I had one in working shape. I sense a quest. My brother plays as well. He's quite the talent. That's so. Why, you should have him come down and we'll raise a real hell sometime, seeing who's the master among us. Okay, was that it? Oh no, that's... Oh, that's totally unrelated to the story thing. Othello sings a curious song. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, I can't, I can't tell my brother about Othello and playing music, playing the lute, because Laertes is already gone. They leave in the morning. Well, I can tell them later. Some other loop. Hello! So, you came after all. Hmm. It's strange. I've never been out this late on my own before. I don't know what compelled me. Yes, I seem to have that effect on people. You promised me a story, and I've come to collect. A drink, perhaps? Then have a seat and a mug of wine, and I'll tell you all my secrets. My lady? Tell me, my lady. 
Have you ever been to Athens? <laughs> Athens? I've hardly been here. Ah, what a pity. I was there once, ashore to make a trade with my crew. In the middle of the night, I awoke to hear the most beautiful singing I'd ever heard in my life. It was a woman's voice calling to me through the darkness, and I felt so strange, as though I must certainly find that voice. So I stumbled out of my quarters into the deep, dark forest beyond the city's lanterns, and there I became truly and deeply lost. After what seemed like hours, I burst into a wooded glen and saw her, the queen of the fairies. She wore nothing, and her hair was down to her knees, woven with flowers. Even so, I sensed that she was strong. When she glanced at me, I knew she was deciding whether to greet me or consume me, as though she were a massive spider. Please. Oh, come now, surely you aren't saying fairies are real. <laughs> I make no claims, my lady, beyond what I saw that night. Titania pulled me into her arms, and everything went strange after that. I thought she kept me there for years, wandering her woods, listening to her singing, lying on beds of flowers. She told me she loved me, and demanded I love her in return. I told her I could not, and she promised never to let me leave until I was hers. Wait... Were you... did you and she... lie together intimately? So it would seem. I think so. It's hard to remember. But I think so. When you're pulled into the embrace of a being like that, nothing makes sense. Still, I always knew I didn't love her. Sometimes she brought other mortal men and women into her fold. They professed their love to her immediately, and she consumed their hearts. In some sick way, I wanted her to consume my heart too. I wanted to give in, but I couldn't. Something wouldn't let me. One night, Titania grew furious. She raged at me, threw me against a tree with a force of her magic. She buried me under the earth so I couldn't breathe, tore my limbs apart and grew them anew. She demanded I give in. Still, I refused, with the last of the strength I had. And when dawn came, Titania spat me out of her web, leaving me alone in the woods. When I found my way back to my men, they hadn't even realized I was gone. All those years I'd spent with a Titania amounted to but one night in the mortal world. Doesn't that seem impossible? That time would pass in such a strange way? Uh. Somehow I don't find that impossible at all. Uh. Tell me, do you think you've ever been in love, my lady? I was, once. What was it like? Othello? You mean you've never been in love? <clears throat> I cannot say I have. Loving women and having been in love are rather different matters to me. Well then, it's... It's wonderful. It's painful too. You spend all your time thinking about the other person. What they're feeling. Whether they're happy. Their pain becomes your own. When they suffer, so do you. Even when you aren't in love anymore, that link still remains. I know he's suffering even now. And when you lay with him, what was it like? Was he sweet to you, or was he cruel with you, as some men are? I... Uh... That's, uh... <laughs> ah, of course, I forgot you're a lady of the court. Uh, please forgive me. I never told anyone about it, that's all. I'm terribly sorry. Have I embarrassed you? If so, please accept my gravest apologies. No, it's not that. Are you still in love with him then? I don't know. I've known him all my life. We were children together. He's not just a person. He's home. You can't easily stop loving someone when they're all you've ever known. 
And I've explored what a future with him might look like, too. Explored, you say? In what manner? Uh, you wouldn't understand. It would only sound peculiar. Talking about the timeline in which we... Well, we, well, we didn't get married, but we agreed to get married. Oh. Well, I can offer you something a little less peculiar, I think. <laughs> Kiss Othello. I thought it felt like we might have a thing for each other. Or at least they have a thing for us. Mm. Yeah. I mean, if nothing else, we should see where this leads, right? God damn, they're tall. <laughs> ah, look. Dawn approaches. It felt as though it was but a moment. Are you hearkening back to that creepy story about the fairy? Seems you have some magic powers of your own. <laughs> you know, I'd like to see you again tomorrow night. That is, if you aren't dissuaded by my boldness. Perhaps it could be my turn to hear you tell a story of your own. I'll be waiting. Sweet dreams. I'm grateful for the time we've spent together. I hope to see you in my bar soon. Now then. Please be safe on the road back to the castle. The men who threaten my establishment surely find their courage when the sun is down. So... Ah, not that much time actually passed, which is good, because our father is just coming back from the grave. Which might be... Yeah, this probably is about the time I want to stop them from burning the notes, actually. And then Othello wants to speak with me alone again at midnight. Yeah, alright. So next thing to do, stop our father from burning the damn notes. 